Speaking of air travel, this is a different type of air travel. Never mind a carbon offset. We have an actual drama in the sky. An instructor dies mid-flight, and a student pilot thinks it's a joke. Oh, it's gotta He's be filming on TikTok or something? Absolute worst nightmare, Will. Yeah. You are... You are learning how to fly. You're trying to get your 20,000 hours and up there. And the instructor, it's another day, another day at the office. The instructor's like, all right, let's go. It's a sunny day. All of a sudden, the instructor slumps over. Mid-flight. And you've never flown alone in a plane. And also, you're not sure if it's a joke or not. This is the worst case scenario. Uh, once on the ground, the student learned the instructor was not just taking a nap. Oh, my God. A flying instructor died in flight after suffering a cardiac arrest, but his co-pilot thought he was fooling around and only realized after landing on the runway with a man slumped on his shoulder. According to a newly published safety report on the incident, the pilot thought the instructor was pretending to be asleep as the pair flew a circuit above Blackpool Airport in Lancashire, England. Uh, the qualified pilot had asked the instructor to accompany him aboard the four-person Piper PA-28 for safety reasons during windy conditions, according to the UK's Air Accidents Investigation Branch report. Prior to takeoff, the pair chatted normally. While the pilot taxied the craft out of the runway, the pilot told the AAIB. He said that the instructor's, instructor's last words were, Looks good. There's nothing behind you. Oh. oh. You got to get that tattered on the arm now. Looks good. There's nothing behind you. Wow, man. Shortly after takeoff, the instructor's head rolled back. As the two pilots knew each other well, the co-pilot thought his companion was just pretending to take a nap. Pretending to take a nap? Pretending. What kind of sick joke is that? Why'd you pretend? While he completed the circuit, the report said when the plane turned around, the instructor slumped over so that his head rested on the co-pilot's shoulder. But again, the pilot still thought it was a joke being played on him. Like maybe because you're old pals and you've been training together for a while and it's like, you're so good, you can do it on your own. I'm going to take a nap. I don't know. Right. I don't know. The instructor who had close to 9,000 hours, hours of flying experience was said to be in good spirits before his final flight. Well, maybe it's a good way to go. I don't know. I mean, the guy landed successfully, the student. But you're traumatizing your student. No, I just mean you love flying at 9,000 hours in the sky. You get to go that way. I don't know, Will. I'm trying to put a put a picture on it, you know? Oh, man. what a, I don't know how often that happens. No test or assessment can give a 100% reliable detection of a cardiac issue. A balance needs to be struck between minimizing the risk to safety. I wonder if you would have had the ECG on an Apple Watch, you know, yeah. with the patent infringement. Yeah. And he would have just been like, maybe, you know, oh. maybe do a quick check before yeah. he goes and flies. Or the guy who thought it was a joke could reach over and run the ECG mm. mid-flight. Well, but, but he did case. die doing what he loves, Will. I'm going to put it. I'm going to okay, spin yeah, it. Yeah, he yeah, did yeah. die doing what he loves. Yeah. Will. Rest in peace. 